Middleware is one of the most important concept in Express application. Middlewares is very similar to the request handler you saw in vanilla node application, accepting a request and sending back a response. But Middlewares has one important difference. Rather than having just one handler, Middleware allows for many to happen in sequence. Middleware functions are functions that have access to the request and response object and the next function in the application's request response cycle. The next function is a function in the Express router which when invoke execute the middleware succeeding the current middleware. We will talk about how to use next after a few seconds. Middleware functions can perform three major tasks, making the changes to the request and response object and the request and response cycle and call the next middleware in a stack. Let me show you a very simple example. Now suppose you want to create a login system with authentication. You send a request to the route but before that we call a middleware function that authenticate the user using a request. If the user is valid, then use the next function and move further, otherwise return response. As I said earlier, middleware functions can work with request and response object. So you can manipulate response and request object using middleware functions. Let's take a look at a very simple example that explains everything about middleware functions. So here I'm going to simply create a middleware function called mylogger. In this example, I'm going to just print log when a request to the app passes through it. So let me just create here a very simple example. So I'm going to first import the express application in this server.js file. So here I'm going to say constant express and as you know to include the express application you need to call the required function and inside it I'm going to say express. I already installed the express framework in the node modules folder so I don't want to install it again. Just after that I'm going to say here constant app. I'm going to create the express app. So I'm going to say here app is equal to express. And using this statement, I'm going to call the express class and initialize this app variable as express app. Just down here, I'm going to create here a constant variable and name that variable my logger. If you want, you can specify any name to this variable that doesn't matter. Here I'm going to create a function and pass few parameters. So here I'm going to say request, response, and next. We'll talk about next function after a few seconds. But just for now, just pass these three parameter, specify curly braces, and in this function, I'm gonna say console.log, and I'm gonna print a message locked. And then I'm gonna call next function. So I'm gonna call this parameter right here, like this, next. Now notice we call here next. Calling this function invokes the next middleware function in this application. This next function could be named anything. If you specify next one, then this should be next one. You can name this function anything, that doesn't matter. But by convention, it is always named next. To avoid confusion, always use this convention. Now you can notice how easy it is to create a middleware function. This is my simple middleware function, which I'm going to use in this application. Now just out of that, once I have my middleware function, I'm going to use it in my express app. So I'm going to just load this middleware function. So I'm going to simply use here app dot use. I'm going to just call a method use to use this middleware function. So in the parentheses, I'm going to pass my logger. Now you can notice to load the middleware function, we call app dot use. Now once I load this middleware function, just down here, I'm going to say app dot get. I'm going to call a method get and then to the first argument, I'm going to specify the route. So I'm going to specify here root route and then specify comma here, then create a callback function with request and response object. And in this function, I'm gonna say response.send and I'm gonna simply say here home route. So this is a simple get request. Just after that, I'm gonna say here app.listen and I'm gonna just listen this app on 3000 port and I'm gonna call a simple arrow function here to print a message. So I'm going to say here console.log and see here app started on port 3000. Save this file and now execute it. So to execute this file, I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to just enter in my express app. So here I'm going to say cd express app and then I'm going to say npm start. As you know, I already have this start command inside this package.json file. So I'm going to execute this command. So I'm going to press enter. And this will start my server on port 3000. So I'm going to open my browser and here I'm going to search for 
localhost colon 3000. I'm going to have my response home route. Now let me just back to my terminal and here you can notice I'm going to have here logged message. Now let me refresh my browser. So I have a log message again. So whenever every time the app receives a request, it prints this message log to the terminal. So you can notice here whenever we make request using HTTP server, the middleware will always execute. So the middleware is the best place where you can add login and authentication program. Now keep in mind the order of the middleware loading is important. Middleware functions that are loaded first are executed first. Now let's create another middleware. So let me just stop my server, clear the screen and close this terminal. And down here I'm going to create another middleware. So here I'm going to say constant and I'm going to name this middleware request time is equal to I'm going to specify function to it and pass request response and next function. And inside this middleware, I'm going to say request dot request time. I'm going to create a new property to this request object request time and I'm going to specify time to it. So here I'm going to say date. I'm going to call a class date and call a method of it now. So this will return a simple current date to this request time property. So once I initialize this, let me call this in my route. But before I call it, let me just call here a next function like this. Just start that here instead of home route, I'm going to simply say here current time and I'm going to just print this property. So here I'm going to get rid of this double code and specify backtick and inside this backtick right here, I'm going to just print my variable. So here I'm going to say request dot request time. So I'm going to call this property using this request object. I'm accessing this property using this request object. And now let me just use this middleware. You can notice I did not use this middleware yet. So I need to add this use method to use this middleware. So down here, I'm going to say app.use and call a middleware request time. Save the changes and execute this file. I'm going to open my terminal and here I'm going to say npm start. When I press enter, this will start the server on port 3000. When I reload the browser, you can notice I'm going to have my current time. The now method is going to return the number of millisecond elapsed since January 1, 1970. Don't worry about this number. This is the current date. If you want, you can convert this number in human readable format as well. I will leave this as it is because we are focusing on a middleware. So once I reload this browser and here you can notice I'm going to have a message logged. So this will execute this logger middleware first and then execute this request time middleware. As I said earlier, the order of loading middleware functions are very important. We first load this my logger middleware function and then load this request time. Now let me explain how these middleware functions are executed in the node application. So when you specify this use method to use this middleware function, the node application will put both these middleware functions in the middleware call stack. In that call stack, he put this my logger at first position and put this request time at second position. And then the middleware call stack will execute these middleware functions one by one. So it will first execute this my logger and then using this next function, it moves to the next middleware. So this function tells the middleware call stack to move to the next middleware because the process of the current middleware function is completely finished. So just move to the next middleware. So once we move to the next middleware function, the call stack will execute this request time middleware function. So once the process of this middleware function is completely finished, this next function will tell the middleware function to execute the next middleware function. So when this middleware function moves to the next middleware function, it's going to execute this route and print a message to the user. So this is the very simple way the middleware work in a node application. So I hope you understand how to work with middleware in node. Next, we're going to understand how to work with static files in Express.